Hey there, I'm Ella from Spline. In this tutorial, we want to create this magical sphere that we can interact with by picking it up and dragging it across our scene. To do this, we will need two things. One, a sphere to apply the drag and drop event, and two, a particle emitter. So let's get our sphere here in the top toolbar. Okay, great. Let's not worry too much about the materials for now and you'll see why. We're going to hide the sphere. And now let's add our particle emitter in the top toolbar here. So as soon as we add our particle emitter, its shape is a plane and it has this pink and orange color applied. Let's start by changing the shape to a sphere. And let's make it a bit smaller. Let's do 10 across the board. Okay, great. Now our particles are going in an upward direction, but we want them to spread out in all directions. So we can change the gravity here to zero and where it says orientation, we can change that to surface. Okay, cool. Now our particles are spreading out in all directions. Now we can change the color. Here you can choose two colors for your particles. For this look, I wanna go white, so I'm gonna apply white to both colors, but I encourage you to play around and explore different color combos. Now let's make the particles a bit smaller. I'm gonna set the size to four. And I want a lot more particles, so I'm gonna increase the birth rate to 5,000. And here I'm going to turn the lifetime up to 1.5 seconds, just so our particles last a little longer on our scene. For the alpha fade and size fade here, I'm going to leave it on linear fade out, but I encourage you to play with the different types of fade here to achieve different results. Another thing you can try here is changing the image. This will be the shape of your particles, and you can even upload your own image to change the shapes. But for now, I'm going to leave it on the default image. Now let's make this interactive. We can unhide the sphere and add a new event to it. Selecting the drag and drop event. And we actually don't need to change any of the settings. So let's just hit preview. And now we can click and drag our sphere across our scene. And the reason why we want to use a sphere is it gives us more surface area to click on for the drag and drop event. So we can keep our particle emitter at a smaller size if we want, still allowing us to grab it with ease. But how do we get the particles to follow the sphere? That's pretty easy. All we need to do is click on the particle emitter and add a new event. And we're gonna select the follow event. Under the follow event settings here, let's select our target, which we're gonna set to our sphere. If we hit preview mode, now our particles are following our sphere when we drag it and drop it across our scene. You can add damping here in the follow event settings to create this lagging effect, but I'm going to set the damping to one so our particles follow the sphere with no delay. Now, all we have to do is make this sphere invisible. To do this, all we have to do is go to the material value here and set it to zero. And we still have this drag and drop effect on our magical sphere. But say you want these particles to just follow your cursor, all you need to do is remove or turn off the sphere layer. And on the follow event that we already applied to the particle emitter, let's change the target to the cursor. And now this magical sphere follows our cursor. See, that was super easy. The great thing about particles is that you can easily add these to your creative projects, like your iOS projects. Here, I'm trying out this scene in Spine Mirror on the Vision Pro. The drag and drop feature works really well in the immersive mode, and yes, I do feel like a wizard. Or you can add this to your websites like we explored with our sand particle tutorial, where we added this interactive sand scene to a framer website. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it out. All right, that's it for this video. We learned how to apply a particle emitter to our scene and change its parameters to create this magical and interactive sphere. Let us know in the comments what tutorial you'd like to see next. 
See you in the next one. Bye.